Okay, this is my take on a Slimming World recipe, which is Kima Mata Pie, um, which is from the November, December 2017 magazine and should be available online as well. Um, so essentially, this is sort of a cottage pie, but with um, spices. I'm going to start with the potatoes. So I'm actually going to do um, one and a quarter kilograms of potatoes and peel them and cube them. I've gone for red potatoes. So peel potato and I'm just going to cube that, cutting it into chunks. About that sort of size. and then keep going. Okay, potatoes done. I'm just gonna sit them in um, a pan of cold water until I'm ready for them. I'm gonna get on with the uh, mince now. For the mince then, we've got an onion, some carrots, um, there's some cherry tomatoes, tin of cherry tomatoes, um, some tomato puree and some beef stock. We will also need um, some garlic and some ginger. Um, what I find is that this is actually the easiest thing to use because it's garlic and ginger mixed together but you can get separate frozen garlic and ginger which tends to work well as, as well and we've also got 750 grams of mint making sure that it is 5% I'm just going to prepare the vegetables first so I'm going to chop up the onion and then dice the carrots. So I'm finally chopping the onion. So. I've Peel the carrots, so now I'm going to just chop them finely as well. So carrots done, so there's quite a bit of peeling and chopping for this recipe, but trust me, it's worth it. Now all this needs to go over to the hob. So the potatoes now on the hob, they're in some salted water. So they're just gonna be brought to the boil and then just parboiled for five minutes. Right, I've got my trusty stock pot and I've Sprayed that with fry light, so it's now ready to start frying the onions and the carrots. So these need frying for three or four minutes. Then I'm going to add the garlic and the ginger, and then fry for a little bit longer. Right, this is ready for the chili and you know, the ginger and the garlic. Just give that a couple more minutes. Right, I'm now going to add the mint. Remember this was 750 grams of mint going in. I'm just going to break that up. And Brown that for a couple of minutes. Just breaking up the mince with a wooden spoon. You see it's beginning to turn brown. Right, the potatoes in there boiled for five minutes, so I've taken them off the heat and the mince is browned. So 
I'm ready to add the spices. So let's nip carefully. There is first of all one teaspoon, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of ground cumin, that's a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of coriander, hopefully, Ooh, or more, and some chili powder. So between half a teaspoon and a full teaspoon, I'm gonna go for half, so it's not too hot, but as you like. Then just return that to the heat for a couple of minutes. Right, I've mixed through the spices on the hob, just warmed that through for a couple of minutes, so we're ready to add the tomatoes. So this is the cherry tomatoes, And I'm going to add a little bit of passata as well. Some tomato puree. And a uh, beef stock pot. Then I'm gonna return that to the hob. So that's all the tomato mixed in, so that now just needs heating through for another 15 minutes or so. So I've drained the potatoes and just popped them on the hob for 30 seconds just to dry through, give them a bit of shake to mash some of them up a little bit. Um, so we need to add some spices to these. So this needs one and a half teaspoons of cumin. So each one of these will be a half. One, two, three halves. That's three halves of cumin. So cumin seeds this time. So again, one and a half teaspoons of those. Then a teaspoon of turmeric, again still doing this in halves, and a half teaspoon of chilli. And then just mix that in to coat the potatoes. Like that. So the mince is cooked and I've now divided it between two. So this one's gonna be the main one and that's gonna be leftovers for lunch. So I now just need to add the potato on top. So that can just be spooned over. Right, and then they spray the top with, with fry light and then put them in the oven at 200 degrees centigrade for about half an hour. 
So that's cumin butter pie. I'm going to serve it with broccoli and green beans. Um, so that is sin free. Enjoy.